Mention it all. Mention it all. Who gonna check me, boo? Geriatric granny, don't talk to me. Hello everybody too, welcome back, I'm Daria and the Overway Hills. Guys, I have some tea for you coming, let's say Atlanta, but it's not really Atlanta, but let's say Atlanta, or it's like, you know, it's all about Kim Solsiak and, you know, the special of the kids that happened yesterday, so I don't know exactly what kind of tea it is. Let's just talk about it, honestly. But before we get into it, like always, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Do it right now. It really helps me a lot. If you are new here and you want to join the very troops, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and let's talk about this mess. So, if you watch the special of the housewife kids that happened yesterday or two days ago, I don't know when this video is going to happen, but it wasn't Mother's Day anyways. Um, you know, they have like 12 different kids from everywhere, you know, we saw all of them, I did already a video about that, so it is what it is, you know, and one of the kids was Brielle Biederman, right? Is she a Biederman? Or is she Solsiak? Brielle, you know what I mean, Brielle, okay? And, okay, so first of all, when I was watching the show, before knowing, like, what I'm going to tell you guys, I really was like, ugh, what is wrong with her? She was, like, so, like, serious, and she was, like, uh, not being funny at all, and she was, like, very, you know, like, cut, you know, like, very dry on, on her answers, you know. Uh, when they asked her about, like, if, you know, if she kept contact with, like, Riley or other kids, she was, like, very, like, no, you know, and she had, like, an attitude, so um, we were watching it with my husband, and we were, like, ugh, this girl, I mean, she's probably, you know, she has own, uh, fame went on to her head, you know, and, like, the whole, like, I have my own show, and it wasn't good, you know, like, she she didn't look good on the show. So, I went to on um, social media, you know, to see what people were saying. And a lot of people were saying the same thing. They were basically dragging her for her behavior on the show. Because all of the kids were very nice. They were laughing. They were sharing stories. They were, like, engaging a lot. Talking to Andy, you know. It, it was, like, very nice. Like, Noel was, like, amazing. Even... Ma um, Brooks, who has zero personality, was giving us something, you know? So, and everyone was talking about this on social media, like, what is wrong with her? Why is she acting like this? She thinks she's better than anyone. And they were basically, honestly, like, trashing her and dragging her everywhere, you know, on social media. And I was like, okay, well, whatever, you know, like, she's a bitch. Well, guys... There was a reason why she was acting this way. And when I read this, I was like, damn, like now I kind of understand. And maybe this was not the best idea for her to be part of the show. So uh, a couple of days before, a little like, I think four days before this was a uh, film, actually he, her best friend, pass away on a really horrible and tragic accident so she was definitely not on the mindset to do this kind of interview and that's why she behaved the way she behaved you know and of course like think about it losing someone so it's, that is so close to you it messed you up completely so knowing that it really changed your perspective you know I, that this is one of those things that I do say, like, there is so much more to the story that that's why we should not be judging people so quickly, including myself in that, you know, because you don't know what is happening inside people's minds and how people are reacting to sit certain situations, you know? So I was like, yeah, I mean, she must be devastated. And 
I don't understand like why at this point Andy didn't say anything, you know, or like, you know, being like, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, we heard that you lost someone very close to you. So we are very sorry and we appreciate that you were here and uh, you actually took the time, you know, any bullshit like that, you know. So it was very weird. Now, King Solsiak, of course, was not having it with the social media backlash, especially against her and she and her and, uh, sorry against uh, her daughter so of course she decided to talk about it you know and and say something and this is what she had to say my baby was scheduled to do a pre-show call with watch what happened live on friday april 9th the day of ethan her best friend who died tragically while they were out and enjoying life on april 3rd so on April 9th was the funeral. It was obviously postponed, which she appreciated very much. You can't fucking tell me that nobody knew this information the day of filming. She filmed three days later. It was nationwide. Not once was Ethan dead mentioned or considered. My baby sat there with a brave face, not saying a word, trying to stay strong. Not five minutes before she was actually, and I'm sorry, she was on my shoulder in tears. I will say, however, that Andy texts me a week later, apologizing, saying he was unaware of the situation. I don't expect Andy to know. He had but he has an entire team at Bravo that should know. You guys know how I feel. Mess with me is fine. Mess with my kids, it's an entire different story. I raised some strong girls and I am proud of them. 100% you have to agree with that. I don't understand how nobody will come to Andy and say, hey, Brielle lost her uh, best friend, she might be behaving like this, you have to say something. Even after the first fucking break, you know, after she was a uh, presenter or something, you could, you could say, you could see that something was up, okay? So someone from production should, should, should just come to Andy and being like, hey, I think you should mention this about Brielle because she's looking very dry and people are going to be talking about it. So you should say that her best friend and show your, uh, your condolences or whatever, you know? And it should have happened because at the end of the day, everything is all, you know, it's all about appearances. And look at me, look at us. I was watching her and without knowing this, I was, I, I, I was being like, oh, what a bitch. I mean, she thinks that she's the you know, the, the best thing in the world. But then knowing this, you actually say like, shit, you know, she is actually fucking brave to go into a show, an hour long show about literally stupid shit, you know, from a show that you were thousands of years ago because they, they didn't even talk about Tardy for the, uh, don't be Tardy, but it was about Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know, and she actually sat there and went through the whole show and answered the questions, you know, and of course she was not gonna be funny and she was not gonna be like the life of the party because she is literally grieving the loss of her best friend. Like, and I mean, this best friend is like best actual friend, you know, who had, they have been friends from, I think since they were like little kids. So yeah, I blame, I blame production on this one. I don't know if Andy knew or not. It is a little bit weird that Andy didn't know, but I mean, at the end of the day, he is just the host, I, I guess. So it is possible that nobody told him anything, you know? Uh, and actually, at every single time that someone has gone through this and they go into Watch What Happened Live, Andy does say something, you know? Andy goes on and says like, oh, I'm so sorry we heard you. You lose your mom, you lose your dad, you lose your dog, you know? He always says something. So I do think this is 100% production's fault and someone needs to be fired, honestly. And if you're looking for someone else, I'm free, all right? Okay, um, yep, 
let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this one did you watch the show and what did you think uh before and what do you think now that you know this information and like always don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel guys and i'll see you around see ya bye